This video is on section 1-6 on basic constructions. Um, and what a construction is in geometry is by using something called a straight edge, which you'll think of more like a ruler, um, and a compass. Okay, And we'll use um, a compass and a straight edge to do a couple of things in this video. One is we will construct congruent segments. We will construct congruent angles. We will construct um, a perpendicular bisector of a segment, and we'll also bisect an angle. And also, um, this video is covering um, standard G.1.2. OK, so first, um, how to construct a congruent segment. So um, if I'm given some segment, I'll just draw. Um, now again, uh, this is I'm thinking of it as a straight edge. Um, although it has lines on it, we're assuming it doesn't have lines, okay? Um, if I call this segment AB, and I want to construct a segment that has the exact same length, a congruent segment, okay? What I will do is I will draw another segment um, that is longer than segment AB, okay? Um, I will then take my compass. Now, this is my compass. Okay, and they're coming different kinds, but um, and I'll put the pointy end um, on one endpoint on the point A, and I will use my compass to measure the length of AB, meaning I'll put the the pencil end on B so that this is the same length. Okay, I will then pick one endpoint of my segment and put the pointy end on that endpoint, and then I will draw a dash. Um, on the segment. Now, um, sometimes students want to kind of keep it so that the compass is straight up and down, and it's kind of hard to draw it that way. I found that kind of leaning it um, in the direction that I'm drawing has been very helpful and not um, in using a compass. So, if I label this point C, and I label this point where the, um, the compass crossed it, call that D, then I've constructed um, a congruent segment. So I can say that segment AB is congruent to segment CD. Okay? Now, how to construct a congruent angle. I will start off by constructing some angle. Doesn't really matter how big it is. Okay, there's an angle. And the way I will construct a congruent, an angle congruent to this one, is I'll draw another line down here. And my angle will be down here, the one I'm constructing. Okay? Um, I will then con um, draw an arc with my compass. I'll put the pointy end on the vertex of the first angle, and I will draw an arc. Now again, it's helpful if you lean the compass in the direction that you're drawing. Um, I've drawn an arc. Now, without changing my compass, I'm going to draw the exact same arc down here by putting the pointy end on this end point and draw the exact same arc and make sure that this arc is at least as long as the first. So it's going to be bigger than uh, my angle. Okay, the next step is for me to measure how long this arc is. Okay, so I will kind of put the pointy end here. I'll put the pencil end over here where it intersects over here so that this compass is exactly as long as the arc. I'll go down here, put the pointy end on this endpoint, and draw a mark so that I have this exact, the same length down here. Okay, and then I will connect um, this endpoint with where that mark is. Okay, and I've constructed an angle that is congruent to the first one. Okay, so if I call this angle one and this angle two then angle 1 would be congruent to angle 2. OK. Um, constructing a perpendicular bisector. OK. Um, <clears throat> if I have some segment, OK, and I will call this segment um, EF, and I wanted to construct a segment, another segment or the line, that is not only perpendicular, meaning it comes at 90 degrees, but it also cuts this segment in, in half. It bisects it. Um, that means to cut it perfectly in half, so I have two congruent sides over here. 
what I will do is I'll take my compass, um, and I'll start at F, and I'll make sure that my compass is more than, um, is, is past the end point of my segment. Okay? And then I'll draw a large arc. Again, I'll kind of leave my compass. I will then put the um, point in on E without changing my compass. So these two arcs are, um, are the same distance away. Okay, now these two arcs have, have intersected twice. Now that's very important. If it didn't intersect, try it again with um, your compass being a bit bigger. Um, but these two points that it intersected on are important, and I will um, connect those with a line. And this line, or this segment, becomes a perpendicular bisector. Okay? So it constructs at 90 degrees, and that's what this little 90 degree, um, this little angle means is it's 90 degrees and it cuts EF in half so if I call this point um, G then EG segment EG would be congruent to segment GF because it cuts it in half okay that's a perpendicular bisector um, the last topic for this video is how to bisect an angle I will draw an angle doesn't matter how big or small it is Okay, and I will, um, the way I'll bisect this angle is by drawing an arc through the angle. So it doesn't matter how big your compass is, but I'll put the pointy end on the vertex and then draw an arc. Okay, and then at this point you could change your compass, but I usually have found I don't need to. Um, I'll then put the pointy end on one place where it intersects, here. Draw an arc kind of through the middle. And then I'll put the pointy end on the other intersection and draw an arc through that one. Okay, so these two arcs intersect. Um, I will then draw a line from the vertex to where these two lines intersect. Okay. And I've just bisected or cut this angle in half. So if I call this angle 1 and this angle 2, um, angle 1 would be congruent to angle 2 because I've cut the angle in half. Okay, now this video covered um, how to construct a congruent segment, a congruent angle, um, a perpendicular bisector, and how to bisect an angle. Um, and now I know that just by watching this video, if you don't have the tools in front of you to, to practice with these ideas, um, it's kind of hard for you to master them just by watching a video. But we'll have more time in class um, to practice these ideas with compasses and strategies that we have here. But this is kind of to, to at least get you exposed to the ideas we'll be talking about in class.